Uh, so my lab works on aging in the eye and we are interested in the mechanisms that make neurons and other cells in your eye or your brain susceptible to disease as you get older. So things like age-related macular degeneration fruit. Uh, to do that we use fruit flies like you've got here in the poster. They're tiny little flies and they grow very fast. So whereas we take 80 years to get to old age, flies get old, they have a maximal lifespan of 80 days in the lab, so we can do our experiments a little bit faster in flies. We, when we finish a project, what we'll do is we'll publish a paper describing that work, so that will go into a peer-reviewed journal. But usually what we put in the peer-reviewed journal is just the final version of the figures, so the polished data, if you like, things like graphs or the representative image. But usually there's a lot of other data that underlies that graph or, or that final picture that we put in, and that's what PER is useful for. We can put all of the raw data, all of the supporting information on a place like PER, and that means it's available for the community. It's also available for my lab later on, or for other people who might be interested and might want to reanalyze our data. So it's a useful resource for the wider community, and it's an important part of doing peer-reviewed science to make that raw data accessible to the whole community. Uh, the types of data we put on PER are things like Western blots or microscopy images or even detailed protocols. You know, they'll just be Word files or PDFs explaining exactly how we did an experiment. We can also put code on there, so scripts that we use for the analysis. PER is really useful if you have to do data management plans, which you do now for many granting agencies, places like NIH or NSF. Because if you use PER, you can just say you're going to use PER and put all your data on PER. And I think that's very helpful. It also makes it a lot easier when you submit a manuscript to have all your supporting data, uh, your raw data, in one place. Um, sometimes data can get called into question in a manuscript or a, or a paper that's published. And if you have it all available on PER, everyone can see it.